For those of you that have been following the channel for the last few weeks, you know that recently I switched from the Ranger file manager to VIFM for a file manager. And I love VIFM. It is fantastic. I would never go back to Ranger, but Ranger did have a couple of features that VIFM lacks out of the box. Uh, and it's one of the things that many of you have said it prevents you from switching from Ranger to VIFM. Those are icons and image previews. Well, there is a kind of a hackish way to get icons and image previews in VIFM. That's what we're going to discuss today. So, I launch a terminal here. This is URXVT, which has been my terminal of choice here the last few months, but kind of like I distro hop a lot, I also terminal emulator hop a lot. I often change terminal emulators after a few months I get bored with one and move on to another, but the last few months it's been URXVT. So let me zoom in here so you can see exactly what I'm doing here. First let's check out Ranger. So the features in Ranger that uh, are kind of lacking in VIFM is image previews. So if I go into my backgrounds directory here and start scrolling through all of my wallpapers, you see I have a really nice image preview that appears for all of these. Really neat, uh, nice feature. Uh, is it that important? For me, not really. Um, I, I often turn the image previews off actually when I use Ranger. Uh, I, I don't like the image previews in the W3M terminal-based web browsers. One of the reasons I like links rather than W3M is I often just don't want to see all these images anyway in the terminal. I prefer just straight text. But for a lot of people, it's kind of a deal breaker. They like these image previews. Another minor gripe some people had was, you know, Ranger has icons, right? It, you see uh, every file and directory has an icon beside it, much like you get icons in your graphical file managers. So how do you get this in VIFM? Well, by default, you don't. Let me show you VIFM as it is uh, out of the box. So I'm going to type VIFM instead of Ranger this time to launch VIFM. And this is VIFM. Uh, this is pretty default here. Uh, again, the directories, the files, they don't have icons. If I go into my backgrounds directory here in the first pane, if, if I turn on uh, previews here, I get just get like random, you know, metadata here. Uh, just garbage, really. There's obviously no images to display. So let me go back to the home directory and turn off the preview function. So how do you get icons and image previews. So first let me show you how to get the icons to appear because that is the easiest thing to tackle here. Uh, let me navigate to the VIFM RC file, the VIFM config file. So uh, I'm pretty sure it is in dot config. Uh, where, where are we at here? Uh, let me gg to the top here. Uh, config, where is VIFM? that directory, and the VIFM RC. Now, if I hit enter, it'll open this in Vim. So if I go toward the end, I think, is, is where I'm going to find what I'm looking for here. Ah, right here. See file types, line 386 all the way to 399. That is what I basically copied from a website and pasted in here. Anyway, you see these Unicode characters, you know, it's got, you know, these little Unicode characters. They are the icons in VIFM. In VIFM, you add these lines and you should now have icons in VIFM when I launch it. So let me write this and quit it. And I'm going to quit out of VIFM and I'm going to relaunch it. And you will notice, let me go to the home directory, I have icons now. I have icons next to all the directories and all the files. Pretty cool. Now, how do you get the image previews? This is a little tougher, and quite frankly, I gotta be honest, you probably are not going to get it to work. It took me a while to get this thing to work, and I can only get it to work under certain situations. There is a page over at the wiki for VIFM. They have a wiki at VIFM.info. I guess it's their official documentation. I'm, I'm going to link to the page and to all the scripts that I use today. Anyway, the page is titled How to Preview Images. 
and it basically says you need W3 image display installed. If you're already using images in W3M and in Ranger, you probably already got that package installed. If it's not, though, you need to install it. And then they give this very simple bash script here. So copy that script there, save it. Where do you need to save it to? Well, what they suggested, and this is what I did, is so in .config slash vifm, which is where your vifm rc file was, create a directory and call it scripts. So, and then in scripts, save this file, that bash uh, script here, and name it imgt. So imgt right there. Save that. Uh, another uh, script they suggest that you might need, in my case I didn't need it, but I, I, I did put it in there just in case I wanted to use it later with maybe different terminal emulators. They recommend this really short bash script here. P also put that in the scripts directory that you had just created and name it imgc. Now imgt is what generates these W3 images for the previews. IMGC is really only needed if uh, if certain terminals have a problem displaying images. Certain terminal emulators, they, uh, they leave image leftovers on the screen. They leave a lot of extra crud. Uh, IMGC, this particular script, what it does is it clears the background of the terminal. Some terminal emulators, you may need to have that so but just putting these in the directory of course does nothing because uh, you're not executing those right so you need to go to your vifm rc file so if i go to the vr vifm rc file which is my vifm config i'm gonna zoom in here and i'm gonna go to the end i think it's toward the end where i'm gonna find what i'm looking for here so these were the uh, icons that we added earlier let me Continue to page up from the end here. See if I can find what I'm looking for. All right, this right here. So lines 250 and 251. Now everything else I have above it and below it ignored. I have it commented out. You see the the little double quote symbol there. That's uh, commenting out those lines. But I needed to add file viewer and then file viewer as far as what. Files are we trying to preview? Uh, bitmap, JPEG, ping, GIF, XPM. And how do you want to preview them? We want to preview them with IMGT, that script. And then you have to give it these uh, little symbols behind it. Uh, but anyway, you copy and paste those lines into your VIFM RC file. And now let me quit VIFM from before. And I'm going to relaunch it. And if I, I don't know, go to my backgrounds directory, so. And turn on image previews. And I have image previews, but it is really, really, really buggy, right? It doesn't work, at least not in URXVT. Now, what they suggest is for you to play with the font. See the script. Let me show you the script here. IMGT. What it does is it determines the font size that you're using, both the height of the font and the width of the font. And that's how it figures out exactly what size to make that image and where to place it on the screen. And for some reason, I, I, no matter what I do to play with the font height and the font width, I can't get this to work in URXVT. It's just not possible. I tried it with a dozen different monospace fonts and I just could not get this to work. So what I ended up doing is, let me close out this. I'm switching to Xterm. So <laughs> this is VIFM and Xterm. And look at the image previews. Now that first one kind of wigs out for some reason, like it blinks two or three times. But after that very first image preview, every other image in VIFM from here on out, while this is open, is gonna work just fine. So this is Xterm. VIFM in Xterm with image previews, right? I also, of course, have the icons working here. So I don't know. Uh, would I switch to Xterm because of the VIFM image previews? I don't know. I might. <laughs> Even though, I, I uh, like I said, I normally don't turn image previews on. I didn't in, in Ranger. I may turn them off here in VIFM. The fact that Xterm, things typically just work. 
I might give X term a shot. Now, a lot of people I know they're going to say X term. X term is bloat. You've been hearing this for years that X term, that particular terminal emulator, is you know because it has a lot of features. It is very feature rich, but it is bloated, right? You hear it all the time. URXVT is so much lighter than X term, you know, or name another terminal emulator, Termite or uh, Simple Terminal, ST. All these terminal emulators are so much lighter than X-Term. X-Term is bloat. Well, is that really true? Let me close this out. I'm going to pull up a, a terminal here. And this is, of course, X-Term. Now let me zoom in in X-Term. Yes, I can zoom in and out in X-Term just like I can in URXVT. And... Let's run this command. So this is a, a Pac-Man command. Pac-Man space dash capital Q lowercase i. Basically, we're going to uh, do a, a query here uh, for the packages that are installed on our system. RxVT Unicode, which is URxVT, and Xterm. And then we're going to, uh, with grip, determine the size of these two programs as they're installed on my system right now. If I run that... Of course, URXVT was the first thing we listed, RXVT-Unicode. Look at the installed size, 3.06 megabytes. Now look at the installed size of Xterm, 1,025 kilobytes. So not even a meg, just a hair under one, we'll call it one meg. Three megs to one meg. URXVT is three times the size of Xterm. But you hear this myth on the internet all the time that X term is bloat. And I know some of you are going to wonder about other terminal emulators compared to X term. So why don't we just do several of them? Uh, ST, I think, is installed on my system. Termite is installed on my system. LX terminal is installed on my system. Let's do all five of those. So again, URXVT is 3 megs. Uh, ST is only 152 kilobytes. That's very, very small, but guess what? That is ST without any feature, no, no added extensions or anything. It's basically useless. So that's great. It's very small. It's not usable in that very small state, though. Termite. Look how small termite is. 644 kilobytes the install size. The LX terminal is 393 kilobytes. Wow. I would have never expected that. And then, of course, X term is 1 meg. So actually, uh, all these terminals are smaller than Xterm, except URXVT, which is three times bigger. But again, I don't think Xterm is bloat. So I, I don't know. I may switch over to Xterm for a little while. Again, I like to terminal emulator hop. Anyway, I've used Xterm as my primary terminal emulator before. I've used URXVT as my primary terminal emulator before. And then vice versa. I, I switch back every few months. Plus, I've used Termite for a little while as my primary you know, you get tired of something, using something for a little while, you always switch. So I'm probably just going to go ahead and switch over to Xterm for a little while. Plus, you know, I have these really nice image previews in Xterm. Before I go, I need to give a special thanks. This show was made possible by Ansem, Carlos, Chris, Dylan, Leo, Rob, and Tony. They are the producers of the show. They are my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon. Also brought to you by all those ladies and gentlemen, all those names on the screen. They are the supporters of this channel. Without them, none of this would be possible. If you would like to support the channel, please consider supporting me over on Patreon. You will find me at DistroTube over on Patreon. All right, peace, guys.